Haribola. Namaste everyone. A blessed day and a blessed evening to all. Welcome to Congregation of Kirtan, the Christmas program, and share a chance of wisdom by Sir Acharya We are live in Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, VK, and Zoom simulcast. I'm your host for the day, Mukunda Dasi. Please accept my humble obeisance. Before I introduce our first host to chant with us, Please continue praying to our dear friends, Mom Marian Dasi, Sir Aldi, and all devotees around the world who suffer from pain, illness, and uncertainty. Let's continue chanting and praying. Before I introduce our first guest to chant with us, we are humbly inviting everyone for our four-day celebration of Lord Balaram starting August 11 up to August 14. Please mark your calendar. Thank you very much. So from my place, let's let's straight ahead to our first guest to chant with us. Let's welcome from Russia, Denis Markov. Haribol Namaste. Thank you very much for invitation. Thank you very much, dear friends. I have a guitar. And... Haribo namaste. Uh, how many people now? You and me. <laughs> oh, bottom nose. Haribo. Namaste. Yes. Матвея, он даст гитару, а я сейчас уже начну, потому что мы не успели до города, до, до города добежать, до берега. А он там в комнате, в доме. Haribo, me taigo, me taigo, Haribo, Haribo, me taigo, me taigo, Haribo, Haribo. Oh, 
Верен, да. У Матвея можно спросить, кажется, оно недалеко. А, начешь ли крыш, начать там я.
and more.
Thank you very much, Dennis and friend, for coming and sharing your sweet and beautiful chanting. Jai Jai Gurudev, Jai Jai Nitai Gaur, Jai Jai Sankirtan, Haribo! 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 Thank you very much. Please take care. Haribo! Namaste! And now let's fly to Ukraine. Let's welcome my dear Katya. Haribo! Namaste! Haribol namaste. Haribol namaste Katya. Haribol. Haribol Denise. Haribol. Very happy to see you. I'm very happy to see you too. <laughs> <laughs> Krishna prestaya mutale Shima te sida svaru pananda Paramam saiti nami Nama om Vishnu kagaya Krishna prestaya mutale Shima to see the Svaru Pananda Paramam Saiti Namina Namo see the Svaru Pananda Paramam Sanamine Gora Karuna Svaru Paya Radha Krishna Presta Namo Siddha Svaru Pahamra Paravam Samamine Ora Karuna Svaru Pahamaya Radha Krishna Presta Nama Aum Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prestaya Vodale Shima Te Bhakti Vedanta 
sharing your sweet and beautiful chanting jai jai gurudev jai jai anitai gor jai jai sankirtan hari bol hari bol thank you very much hari bol namaste hari bol namaste hari bol. always happy to see you please take care hari bol thank you very much hari bol and now let's fly to poland let's welcome my dear rania and sir yasek hari bol namaste Haribol Namaste, Mahalikumukunda Dasi. Please accept this uh, chips, the corn chips, and this <laughs> from garden, and also village. And this flowers, Prasada flowers for you and all devotees. Haribol. Haribol, thank you very much, my dear. We are, we humble accept it. Thank you.
Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Vindavan, Vindavan, Jaya Krishna Balaram. Vindavan, Vindavan, Jaya Krishna Balaram. Vindavan, Vindavan, Jaya Krishna Balaram. Vindavan, Vindavan. Jaya Krishna Balaram Vrindavan Vrindavan 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 Jaya Krishna Balaram. Krishna Balaram, Vrindavan, Vrindavan, Jaya Krishna Balaram. Vrindavan, Vrindavan, Jaya Krishna Balaram. Vrindavan, Vrindavan, Jaya Krishna Balaram. Jaya Krishna Balaram, Balaram Balaram, Jaya Krishna Balaram, Balaram Balaram, Jaya Krishna Vrindavan, Balaram Balaram, Jaya Krishna Govardham, Jaya Balaram Balaram, Jaya Krishna Vrindavan. Balaram, Balaram, Jaya Krishna Govardham. Balaram, Balaram, Jaya Krishna Vrindavan. Balaram, Balaram, Jaya Krishna Govardham. Balaram, Balaram, Jaya Krishna Vrindavan. Balaram, Balaram. Jaya Krishna Vrindavan, Balaram, Balaram, Jaya Krishna Vrindavan. Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna.
Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna Karuna Sindha Dina Bandha Gagapata Tadu Pashalo Pika Kanta Rada Kanta Namo Sute He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandha Gagapata Gopesha Gopika Kanta Rada Kanta Namo Sute Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandha Jagapate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Rada Kanta Namo Sute He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandha Jagapate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Rada Kanta Namo Sute Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandha Jagapate Dupa Shago Pika Kanta Radha Kanta Namo Stute He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandha Jagapate Dupa Shago Pika Kanta Radha Kanta Namo Stute Gauranga Hari Bol Nichinanda 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 Hari Bol Nichinanda 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 Hari Bol Gauranga 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 Hari Bol Nichinanda 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 Hari Bol Gauranga 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 Hari Bol Nichinanda Nichinanda Chaitanya Chaitanya Nichinanda Nichinanda Chaitanya Chaitanya Nichinanda Nichinanda Chaitanya Chaitanya Nichinanda Nichinanda Chaitanya Chaitanya Jaya Jaya Guru Dehe Jaya Shri Ratra Gopa Jaya Jaya Guru Dehe Jaya Shri Ratra Gopa Jaya Jaya Guru Dehe Jaya Shila Prabhupada Jaya Jaya Guru Dev Jaya Shila Prabhupada Jaya Siddha Sayananda Paramahamsa Prabhupada Jaya Siddha Sarvananda Paramahamsa Prabhupada Jaya Siddha Sarvananda Paramahamsa Prabhupada Jaya Siddha Svarpananda Paramahamsa Prabhupada Gurudeha Gurudeha Jaya Jaya Gurudeha Gurudeha Jaya Jaya Gurudeha 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 Jaya Jaya Gurudeha 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 Jaya Jaya Gurude Namaste Narashingaya Rakhnagala Dardayane Hiranyakashi Purvakshama Silatankana Kolaye Itondashingo Paratondashingo 
and sharing your sweet and beautiful chanting and always sharing your prasadam to us. Jai Jai Gurudev, Jai Jai Nitai Gaur, Jai Jai Sankirtan, Hari Bol! Hari Bol! Hari Bol! please take care. Hari Bol, Namaste. Hari Bol, and now let's fly to Russia. Let's welcome my dear William. Hari Bol, Namaste. Haribo namaste mukundadasi. Uh we is from Kazakhstan. Yes. Mukundadasi? <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is for you, Apple. <laughs> Prasadam. Thank you very much. Haribo. Haribo, Hari Krishna, Haribo. Wow. Thank you. <laughs>
Jai Jagadish Hare Jai Jagadish Hare Hari Bol Namaste Thank you so much Thank you Jai Jai Krishna Jai Jai Sankirtan Jai Jai Gurudev Jai Jai Gospod Chitanya Nitinanda Hari Bol Hari Krishna Hari Bol Thank you very much, my dear Raylium and family, for coming and sharing your sweet and beautiful chanting. Chai Chai Gurudev, Chai Chai Anitai Kaur, Chai Chai Sankirtan Hari Bol. Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Jai Jai Krishna, Krishna, Jai Gurudev, Hari Bol. Thank you for sharing your prasadam to us. Please take care. Hari Bol, Namaste. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. From Kazakhstan, let's move to Krasnodar, Russia. Let's welcome my dear Julia, Sir Dimitri, and Nimai. Hari Bol. Namaste. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Падаем, 
Esta festa é toda alegre Shema Tezidam Svayu Panandam Parama Hamsam Utsinaminam Mama Om Vishnu Pandaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Shema Tezidam Svayu Panandam Parama Hamsam
Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Rupa Govinda Rama, Madana Mahana, Rupa Govinda Rama, Madana Mahana, Rupa. Chanting Jai Jai Gurudev Jai Jai Nitai Gaur Jai Jai Sankirtan Hari Bo. Thank you very much. Please take care. Hari Bo Namaste. And now let's fly to Poland and Ukraine. Let's welcome my dear Ivana and Andrei. Hari Bo Namaste. Hari Bo Namaste. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you for this chance to chant holy names with you, with everybody. Jai Krishna, Jai Guruda. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prestaya Bhutale Shimate Hida Farupa Nanda Marama Hatai Chiva Namine Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prestaya Bhutale Shimate Hida Farupa Nanda Marama Hatai Chiva Namine 
Ivana, w tebe duże tycho mikrofon zwrócić. Jak przemajesz możliwość, może tam w nastrojkach można podkrótyć. Dalej tylko, ale ja pociągnę cię do ciebie. Wierny na zary na zary. Namaste, Saras, Pachi, Eba, Gora, Wani, Pachariny, Dzieli, Sejta, Słyby, Pachi, 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 Jai 
Батяши Кришна читания Прабу Ничинанда Шри Адвейта Гандатхар Шри Васади Гур Бхакта Вринда Hari bol, ni tai gor, ni tai gor, hari bol, hari bol, ni tai gor, ni tai gor, hari bol, hari bol, ni tai gor, ni tai gor, hari bol. Hari Bol, 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 Hari Tai Gor, Ahari Bo, Ahari Bo, Tai Gor, Ahari Bo, Ahari Bo, Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nichinanda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Ora Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nichinanda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Ora Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nichinanda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Ora Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nichinanda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nichinanda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Ora Bhakta Vrinda Hare Nama Hare Nama Hare Nama Арегнама, Аренама Ева Кева, Калона Сиева, Настиева, Настиева, Гатиранята. Аренама, 
Haragnama, Haragnama, Haragnama eva kevalo, Galona sieva, Nasieva, Nasieva gatira hanyata. Nichinanda, 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 Haribo, Chetanya, 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 Haribo. Nichinanda, 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 Haribo, Chetanya, Chetanya, Chetanya. Nichinanda, 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 Haribo, Chetanya, 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 Haribo. Nichinanda, 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 Haribo, Chetanya, 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 Haribo. Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Radha Krishna Nahayanya. Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Radha Krishna Nahayanya. Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Radha Krishna Nahayanya. Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Radha Krishna Shri Krishna Chaitanya Radha Krishna Nahayanya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Radha Krishna Nahayanya Chaitanya Radha Krishna Nahayanya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Radha Krishna Nahayanya Nitai Goranga, Nitai Goranga, Nitai Goranga Kaharipo Nitai Goranga, Nitai Goranga, Nitai Goranga Nitai Goranga, Nitai Goranga, Nitai Goranga, Haribo. Nitai Goranga, Nitai Goranga, Nitai Goranga, Haribo. Nitai Goranga, Nitai Goranga, Nitai Goranga, Haribo. Nitai Goranga, Nitai Goranga. Nitai Goranga, Nitai Goranga, Nitai Goranga, Haribo. Nitai Goranga, Nitai Goranga, Nitai Goranga, Haribo. Namaste. Haribo, Namaste. Krishna. Namo Vishnu 
Padaya Krishna Prestaya Udale Shima Desira Svarupananda Paramahamsa Itinamine Padaya Krishna Prestaya Utale Shima Tesida Swarupananda Paramahamsa Sinchinamine Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prestaya Utale Shima Te Bhakti Vedanta Sahami Namine Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasaya Bhutale Vimate Bhakti Vedanta Vāmīrī ekināmīne Vājā Shri Krishna Chaitanya Vāhavu Nichinanda Gadadhara Shiva Sadimo Bhakta Vrinda Bhaja Sri Krishna Chaitanya Bhavu Nikinanda Sri Advaita Gadatha Sri Vasadhigo Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, 
Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Jaya Radhe, Jaya Krishna, Jaya Indiva, Shri Govinda Gopinatha, Jaya Krishna, Jaya Vindeva, Shri Govinda Gopinatha, Madhana Radha Rani Shama Sunda Radha Rani Shama Sunda Radha Rani Madhava Dindeva Ramarama, 
Hare Hare Jaya Jaya Guru Jaya Sila Prabhupada Jaya Jaya Guru Jaya Guru Dev, Jaya Shiva, Prabhu Jaya Jaya Guru Dev, Jaya Shiva, Prabhu Jaya Sira Swarupananda Paramahamsa Prabhupada Jaya Sira Swarupananda Paramahamsa Jaya Sita Varupananda Paramahamsa Prabhupa Jaya Sita Svarupananda Paramahamsa Prabhupada Hare Bol, and I'll listen together to Lord Nishim Gadev. Hare Hare Bol. Namaste Narasim Gaya Prahlada Khada Dayane Hiranyakashi Purvaksham Shila Tanka Nakala Ye Ito Nishim Go Parato Nishim Go Yato Yato Yamita To Nishim Go Vahid Nishim Go Hinda Ye Nishim Go Nishim Gadim Sharana Prapada Ye Tavakara Kamala Varena Kam Adbuta Shim Ga Chanting Chai Chai Gurudev Chai Chai Nitai Kaur Chai Chai Sankirtan Hari Bol Hari Bol Krishna Krishna Hari Hari Bol Thank you very much Please take care Hari Bol Namaste Hari Bol Namaste Hari Bol From Shara Mai Kirtan Let's move to 
share a gems of wisdom. A disciple of His Holiness, Chagat Guru Siddhaswarupananda Paramahamsa Prabhupada, and His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. The title of the video lecture is The False Me, The Real Me. Let's welcome Sir Acharya Das. Hari Bol. So, the talk that we're going to do tonight, I've titled it <coughs> The False Me, The Real Me. And we are going to be discussing the what is called the ahankara or the false ego. So I've made quite a few notes. Um, I'll be quoting quite heavily from different spiritual texts. This topic um, that we're going to explore, it's actually extremely important. If anyone wants to understand, actually understand yoga and want to tread the path of self-realization, then coming to know and understand this topic is of extreme importance. Having said that, it's not something that we often and frequently visit. Most of us are simple folk, kind of straightforward or reasonably straightforward. And the two things that we actively promote are cultivating the knowledge of my identity as being spiritual, and I am a spiritual personality. And the second thing is to engage in the process of the chanting of these sacred sounds, these holy names as being the most effective and efficient means for self-realization. If one sincerely engages in this practice, then within this lifetime, both self-realization and God-realization are inevitable. And so there is no actual requirement to separately engage in the deep philosophical pursuit of, you know, learning about the false ego. But having a basic understanding is actually really important. So, you know, the topic is a bit on the esoteric side. And it is actually difficult for some people to grasp because it deals with something that is actually completely beyond the very uh, limited scope of so-called scientific understanding of what constitutes a person. You won't find any any discussions on the, this subject. The Vedas, they teach us that there is such a thing as a real identity, the real me, 
And there is also a false identity or the false me. The living beings within the material world, with actually very, very few exceptions, are living out what could be described as dreamlike lives. And I'll explain what I mean by that uh, a little, little later on. But generally, people are totally engrossed in the world of the false ego or the false self and are almost totally unaware of our actual spiritual identity. This is a pretty shocking thing to discover. So what is the mechanism that makes this adoption of the a false self and living in a dreamlike existence? What is the mechanism that makes this possible? Well, the mechanism is called in Sanskrit the ahankara or this false ego which is very subtle, yet incredibly powerful. And it is a covering of the soul or the atma, the self, which distorts the consciousness of the pure soul. So this is like a a little bit of a summary And what we're going to do is to dive into some of the details. So hopefully I can share um, some understanding of this topic. If I ask you the question, when you, in observing another person, what is it? that you see. What do, what do you see when you look at another person? The, f- the first thing that you notice, of course, it's, it's so evident, is the body. The nature of the body, the um, sex, the age, the racial or ethnic extraction, the, the, the build, the physical build. The, these are the kind of things that you look at first. And you either draw a conclusion that what you're looking at is okay or even attractive, or it's just kind of like no big deal, or there may be a sense of repulsion even. So this is the the first thing. But then when you begin to engage with that person, then quickly your perception begins to change. It actually deepens. So you've looked at and observed that a gross physical body. In Sanskrit, this is referred to as the uh, shthula, sarira, or the gross physical body. As you, and maybe I'll, I'll just use an example. It's like looking at a herd of sheep, and it's like, they're all the same. They're all exactly the same. But if you took two or three sheep from a herd and you kept them in a little pen by your house and every day you tended to them and observed them, you would quickly come to recognize that, well, they're different from each other. 
It's like they've got different personalities. And over time, it becomes like increasingly evident. I'm using that, you know, as an example of actually what we go through when we look at other people as well. There is, although it happens at a much faster speed, you can look at a group of people, particularly if they're from another country, we have a tendency to look at them and go, oh, they're all Italian or they're all Chinese or they're all Indian or they're all Russian or they're all Australians or whatever. And and there is this tendency to look at them in a sort of like a monolithic, sort of like one kind of entity almost. But then as you get to know people and you're introduced, then you start discovering personalities. And what's going on in that process is that you are becoming aware that there is more than what you just see with your eyes. Just like they have an old saying that is incredibly important and valuable. You don't judge a book by its cover. I think everybody's aware of that, and we all know the truth to that also. You don't judge a book by its cover. So there's more to this person that I'm encountering than what just meets the eye. As you get to know someone, there is a growing awareness that there is a personal presence which goes beyond the body. What do I mean by that? I'll give you a couple of examples. You know, you see a couple of really old people, I mean like really old people, that have been married about maybe 60 years or something, you know, and uh, trying to get it, go out and get some exercise and they may be somewhat hunched over or one of them and their skin is all wrinkled and flaky and scabby looking, you know, as it gets, as it ages. And then, you know, they have different, they've developed different ailments and they're it's a bit of a struggle just to take a walk down the street. But they may be holding hands. Or you may see them showing affection to each other. And it's like, okay, well, what is this person seeing in the other person that I'm not seeing? Not knowing them. All I'm doing is looking at the body and going, well, the body is not very attractive. It can even be. I mean, when I was a kid, I was sort of like a little bit, mm, it was like old people were another species. Now I'm an old person. And it was like, you know, you, woof. <laughs> I didn't like my grandmother cuddling me and kissing me very much. It was like, you know, <laughs> I was with my grandma. Yeah, okay, I'm I'm cool, Granny. Let's let's. I want to play, you know. <laughs> so you become increasingly aware, though, that there is more to it than just this external package, and it's kind of like, and this might gross some people out. I'll give you a couple of examples. It's kind of like one of them I always use is you go, you, you're you visiting someone, you're maybe at the beach or whatever, and or staying over, and you're going to take a shower. And you go into their bathroom to take a shower, and you turn on the water, and then all of a sudden you feel that there's water coming up around your feet and ankles. And you look down, and you notice that the drainage is full of hair. And so you kind of have to bend down and, and pick it up and kind of get rid of it so the shower drains properly. And in touching that hair, and maybe people are going to be grossed out by this, for me it's kind of like picking up a cockroach. It's on the same sort of level. It's kind of like, yeah, you know, and you're going to get rid of it. It's like, Ooh. it gives you the heebie-jeebies. And it's just like, extraordinary 
that when that hair is attached to somebody's head, you know, you can stroke the hair and, and, you know, be infatuated with the person. But as soon as it detaches, it now takes on a different characteristic. And we could use that same example when, you know, somebody shakes hands or if they're feeling very debonair, you know, take a woman's hand and, and kiss it you know, as the French do. And, you know, you feel that that's a nice thing to do, you know, the shaking hands, if there's a feeling of, of some affection while shaking, you may even hold their hand with two hands in, in, in a gentle and warm um, greeting. If the hand became amputated, you would suddenly feel incredibly different about it. <laughs> the idea of touching it or picking it up or holding it or kissing it or caressing it would now, you know, it. you would feel very averse to doing that. So I'm, I'm just using something probably a little bit gross and probably a little bit strong examples that there is something going on when we get to meet somebody where we look or we begin to perceive something beyond the body. And if you take any body part or anything and separate it from the person, it, it becomes something that, you know, repulses us even. Another example is kind of like when people talk to their pets and they look into the eyes of the pet and they're talking, oh, how are you feeling, hello, you know, whatever. They just go on and talk, you know, as like the pet is their kid. And they're not just looking at the body, they're actually looking into the eyes and there is this perception that there is a person within who is actually looking back at me and relating to me. So this is a, a, a perception of the reality that within the body is the person. And this person is termed in Sanskrit as the Atma or, or the self. So I'm going to try and hopefully this works okay. I'm going to put up a couple of slides, which um, I'm using. They're just graphic representations. Don't get overly caught up in the, in the, the forms that you see. But what we have is, you know, in this picture, it's, it represents what you see when you first meet someone, you look at them, you see the gross physical body, the, the um, stula sarira, it is called in Sanskrit. But within the body, there is actually a person. So this graphic that I'm using, it's not really, um, don't overly think it, I'm not showing you what the atma looks like. It has what appears to be a head on top of a form just to give the understanding or the impression or the appreciation that we're talking about something that is personal. And so, it, you know, it indicates a personal existence you know, within the body. What we learn in the yoga system and in the Vedas is that actually we have two bodies. You have the gross physical body, but you also have a subtle body. The subtle body is termed in Sanskrit as the linga, sarira. The subtle body is the body or the covering that is closest to the soul. 
The subtle body um, is, I'll, I'll use the terminology, it's like it comes first. And based around that, you have a gross physical body. In the yoga texts, when they speak about reincarnation for existence, I mean, for example, they describe how particular types of desires and attractions form within the mind. And when one is locked into those attractions or attachments at the time of death, then they will receive a physical body in their next life experience based around those desires. So it is this this subtle body and what goes on there that causes or gives rise to the gross um, physical body. Now, this subtle body actually has three, I think a good term to use is like layers. Uh, It's not the best term, but I think it it imparts a good way of understanding. So the subtle body is comprised of these three layers. The very first layer, the one that is closest to and and covering the soul itself, the spiritual being, is what is called the false ego or the ahankara. So false ego is, is, you know, this is a little bit of a challenging thing because in English, there is no spiritual concept or understanding of these kind of things. And we're taking a term that is Greek in origin, ego, but was used by psychiatrists in the development of, of psychology, uh, the, uh, this whole field of trying to understand the nature of the mind, etc., um, ha- has been utilized. So it's not the best word, but it's pretty much the only one that we've got to use if we want to relate. So what we're going to be talking about is the fact that there is an actual real ego, a real person and their personhood and their consciousness. And there is this false ego or ahankara. What the, this covering does, this ahankara, this false ego, is that it distorts or pollutes the consciousness of the atma. The atma or the soul, the self, it, it has consciousness. And this consciousness radiates or emanates from the soul itself. But this covering acts as a distorting um, covering. So sometimes I, I'll use an example of like being a, like a filter. Sometimes you can use a color filter over light, or if you like, you know, just some cellophane. If I have a, a light bulb and I cover it with a red cellophane, then the only light that is emitting from that light bulb through the cellophane is red light, light on the red spectrum. If I use a green filter, green cellophane, then the light that is being emitted is only light in the green spectrum. So in a similar manner, the ahankara, the the false ego that is covering the soul, distorts or changes the color of the pure consciousness of the soul itself. And we'll, we'll talk a little bit about, you know, how it does that and, and what is the result of that. If we look at the meaning of the word ahankara, the foundational or the, the base or root Sanskrit word it's coming from, derived from, 
is aham. Aham means I. When you say I am or I did this or I whatever, that I is this word aham. When you add the term kara to the end of a word, then what it's saying is the representation of the I. Just like we have the word om kara. So the pranav, this transcendental sound vibration that contains the highest spiritual truth and contains everything is this spiritual sound om. When you write the letter that represents that, this is called the Omkara. So when people see the sign, like I have it tattooed on my hand, this Om, it is referred to as the Omkara. Kara sometimes means letter, but it's the representation of Om. So in a similar manner, the Ahankara is the false representation of me. How does that play out? Well, we'll get into that in a little bit of detail, but it's kind of like, and I, and I use this quite often, the example of the movie Matrix. Because when was that? When did they come out with that? The 80s? 90s? 90s? Huh? It's quite a long time ago. Matrix. Anyways, big movie. It's a, got a bit of a cult following. And the big reveal in that movie was you have this battle between pretty much good and evil going on. And this, there's all this, what seems to be physical activity and plotting and encounters and all this fighting and all this stuff going on. But at the end of the movie, there's this revelation that none of that stuff that is happening is real. The reality was that you, along with all these other people, are like in a comatose state in a pod. And you, all the energy is, you, you are providing energy for some unknown entity or force or whatever. You are the energy source. And all the stuff that you've been experiencing and that was going on in the movie was actually just happening in a dreamlike state. So I don't know if you will recall earlier on, I mentioned that the effect of the ahankara, the false ego, is to make it so that we become utterly absorbed in a false concept of who we are and live our entire lives, what we call our lives, in almost a dreamlike condition. And what, what do we mean by that? What we mean by that is that the, um, a person will live almost their entire life with the false idea that this body which I am currently wearing is me. This is who I am. And I build relationships and connections with others. I aspire for stuff. And I'm, I go through this whole process of being utterly absorbed. The moment of death, all of that is terminated. I leave it behind and I move on to another life and repeat the same thing over, utterly identifying with now the new body that I have and the new relationships and the new connections that come with, you know, that particular body. And everything that came before is utterly discarded. And so the great yogis, they teach that it's like people are living almost dreamlike existences, meaning it is not completely real. There are certain 
reality to it, but it is a temporary and changing and passing reality. There is an eternal reality, and that is you as an eternal spiritual being. And the um, purpose of human existence is to rediscover your actual true and eternal spiritual identity. So it is this false ego, this first covering of the Atma or the self that is responsible for this massive, this monumental distortion of consciousness and this incorrect way of seeing things, this huge illusion. So as I mentioned, there there are three layers to the subtle body. The first is the false ego. The second is called the buddhi. Buddhi is mostly translated as intelligence, but not intelligence in the same way that people normally think of intelligence, say equating it to like IQ or how well you can learn things or you know do things in this world. This is a, a, a different faculty, and I'll explain it in, in a moment. The third covering that's constituting the subtle body is the mind. So the mind is the third covering. The second covering, the buddhi or intelligence, is considered higher than the mind, and it is by exercising this faculty. This is what a person does when they practice actual mindfulness, when they endeavor to take control of their emotions and don't live a life just based upon emotions and feelings, but consider that there is higher purpose. So with this faculty of the buddhi, the intelligence, a person, for instance, that's overwhelmed by anger or fear or desire or whatever, can you can have this inner voice that says, this is not good. I shouldn't be behaving this way. I shouldn't say this. I shouldn't do this. And it, you have this power to curb the mind. And you can make a choice. Okay, I'm not going to follow that. My mind's flipping out. It's going completely crazy. It's off on a tangent. I'm losing the plot, but I'm choosing. I'm going to choose not to follow that. So that this faculty of buddhi or intelligence makes it so we have a capacity to control the mind. So this is a huge subject. And we just want to sort of like focus in now on the false ego, this first, um, this first covering, the great distortion of the consciousness of the soul. If we look at what is the effect on the atma or the self of this false ego, I'll read a verse from the Bhagavat Purana that that explains this. When the soul is under the spell, interesting terminology, under the spell of material nature and false ego, identifying one's body as the self, the person becomes absorbed in materialistic activities. And by the influence of false ego, one thinks they are the proprietor of everything. So a person may go, that's not, you know, thought about this before. What 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 does that mean? Well, the concept of me and mine. I lay claim to everybody I'm connected to my father, my mother, my grandparents, my partner, my husband, my wife, my children, my friends. I lay claim to everything in this 
pays of false ownership or proprietorship. And my whole life is built upon this false notion of the I and the me and the mine. So one may question then, and and we'll just touch on that a little bit as we go forward. But one can ask, so what's the mechanics? How, How is it actually happening this way? And it's also explained in the same um, text or the same uh, book, this Bhagavad Purana. <clears throat> and they give this pretty amazing example that really helps us come to an understanding. It says, during the rainy season, and this may be a concept that's difficult for people in, in Asia, in the, the equatorial part of the world, you generally have a rainy season and a dry season. During the dry season, the sky is always clear. During the rainy season, it is frequently, the sky is full of clouds. So it says, during the rainy season, the moon was prevented from appearing directly by the covering of of the clouds, which were themselves illumined by the moon's rays. So if you look up in the sky, when the when there's a full moon and it's cloudy, you cannot see the actual moon, but sort of like in between the clouds, you're getting areas of some light and you can actually begin to see the form and shape of the clouds because of the moonlight. Similarly, the living being in material existence is prevented from appearing directly by the covering of false ego, which is itself illumined by the consciousness of the pure soul. So, wow, this is like really amazing. Um, Before speaking to that point, I'll just give another example from the Yoga Sutra of Patanjali, where he uses a similar type of example, not as a moon and clouds, but in another way, uh, in relation to the, the Atma, or the soul, the self, and the mind. And in these two verses, it states the mind being able to perceive due to its reflecting both the atma or the self and objects of perception appears to comprehend everything. So there is this principle that because of the presence of the atma, the atma lends consciousness or awareness to the mind. And the mind is used as the repository for all perception. Everything that you see, everything that you hear, you taste, smell, touch, it becomes reflected upon the mind. And so a person thinks, oh, I am seeing this, I am experiencing this, I'm touching, I'm tasting this. And it's like the mind has almost like an independent existence. But the reality is the only reason the mind can be like that is because it is reflecting the consciousness of the soul itself. Then in the next verse, it states, even though the mind has accumulated various impressions and desires, of various types, it is always at the disposal of the atma or the self. This is because the mind cannot function without the power of the perceiver. So the perceiver is the actual soul, the atma, the person, spiritual being within. And it is lending the consciousness to the mind. And so the mind appears to be perceiving. And we're going through this whole thing of chasing all of these fantasies and desires and 
all kinds of things that are coming up within the mind. And it is happening because the soul itself is lending consciousness to the mind. So I'm using that as an example, and it's the same type of situation with the false ego. The false ego is matter. It is material energy. But it takes on what appears to be consciousness, which is lent to it by the soul itself. And so what is the effect that it has on the soul? What is the effect that it has on us? Another verse, the false ego of the living entity places him in bondage and awards him exactly the opposite of what he really desires. <laughs> it's just like, you know, I, for example, you know, I get these ideas in my mind that if I can just have a permanent rel and long-term relationship with this person, they call it love. My life will be perfect and complete and whole. But our experiences when we get into that relationship, no, it doesn't deliver. In fact, it can deliver the opposite. I think if I can just acquire the skill, if I can just have this job, if I can just get this amount of money, if I can just get these things or experiences I will find happiness and my life will be perfect and wonderful. And it's absolutely not true. And if we look at things quite analytically, we will find that quite opposite, or quite often rather, the opposite of what we desired is what we experience. So the false ego of the living entity places him in bondage and awards him exactly the opposite of what he really desires. Therefore, an intelligent person should give up his constant anxiety to enjoy material life and remain situated in the Lord, who is beyond the functions of material consciousness. You know, our idea that there is some great perfection to be had in this world, that this world is my home, that I can be fulfilled here, is wrong. It's not true. And I chase things to try and achieve those ends, but what I experience is the opposite of what I am desiring. As long as the spirit soul is covered, this is another verse, as long as the spirit soul is covered by the subtle body consisting of the mind, intelligence, and false ego, he is bound to the results of his fruit of activities. And because of this covering, the spirit soul is connected with the material energy and must accordingly suffer material conditions and reversals continually, life after life. So what's been spoken to here is what is referenced in the ancient texts as the cycle of repeated birth and death. That until a person regains their original spiritual consciousness, if we will be just living out the fantasies of the mind under the direction of the false ego, the false concepts of who I am, and I will be forced or attracted to act in different ways that will produce karmic reactions and results which perpetually bind me to this world in a state of constant unhappiness and dissatisfaction. So as a result of these karmic fruits and all of these false ideas that have been generated I chase and, you know, different things. And it means that I wander from one body to the next, utterly absorbed in these different so-called lives, thinking that they are all real and permanent and will deliver 
what I actually desire within my heart of hearts. And of course, in this situation, the living being cannot ever experience peace. We are constantly stressed and distressed. Even when we've got everything that we desired, we will be in a state of anxiousness, worrying that it will be taken away from me somehow or other. This feeling of insecurity. So addressing this subject or this point about not experiencing peace in the Bhagavad Gita, <clears throat> the second chapter, the 71st verse or shloka. It states a person who has given up all desires for sense gratification, you know, it's just trying to satisfy the desire to taste, smell, touch, see, hear, all this, who lives free from desires who has given up all sense of proprietorship and is devoid of false ego, they alone can attain real peace. Um, you know, in, in, in the mindfulness that we teach in prisons and elsewhere, the focus is on taking control of your life rather than being simply enslaved by desire and constantly chasing the mind and all the things that are going on there and all this false information, this will make you happy, this is what you need, this is where you will find perfection, everything is going to be wonderful here. You know, we must learn to, to take charge of our life and make really, really good choices that result in really good action that brings about fantastic results. When we drill down to a deeper level, we have to examine the role that the false ego has been playing in misleading me. So another verse Although the false ego has no factual basis, meaning it is not eternal spiritual reality, although it has no factual basis, it is perceived in many forms as the functions of the mind, of speech, of life air, and the bodily faculties. But with the sword of transcendental knowledge sharpened by worship of a bona fide spiritual master, a sober sage will cut off his false identification and live in this world free from material attachment. So I'm not going to go any deeper on that one. If you want to, you know, look at this again in the video and dwell on that one a little bit, it's incredibly profound. In another verse, lamentation, elation, fear, anger, greed, confusion, and hankering, as well as birth and death, are experiences of the false ego and not of the pure soul. My God, this is such an elevated spiritual principle. And it's speaking to the reality that almost everything that a person experiences in what's considered the normal course of life are things that are influenced, directed by, and are affecting and influencing the false ego, but actually do not touch the soul itself. Just like when you see something and you think it's delicious looking food and you want to experience, oh, I'm such a foodie and oh, this tastes so good. And then it goes down and you digest it and you turn it into stool. It's kind of like, you know, that that experience has, has come and gone. 
The soul was not touched by that experience. The soul achieved nothing. It was just an experience of the body, of the mind, but ultimately of the false ego. The false ego gives shape to illusory material existence and thus experiences material happiness and distress. The spirit soul, however, is transcendental to material nature. He can never actually be affected by material happiness and distress. Yet in any place, under any circumstance, or by any agency of any person, a person who understands this has nothing whatsoever to fear from material creation. So I'm, I'm feeling like this is probably dragging on a little bit too much. Is this a bit too much, you think? No, up to the individual. Um, it, Something that's really interesting is whenever we get into any kind of situation, it's good to think back at what was I talking about when I used pronouns I, me, we, they. Am I referring to myself and others as eternal spiritual beings? Or am I just speaking about the temporary material body, the gross body or the subtle body, and what's going on in in this world. You know, people get so caught up in it, they cannot really discern what is spiritual and real and what is material and temporary and fundamentally um, illusory, if not unreal. To sort of explain the, the way in which we get caught up in the Bhagavad Purana, they say, just as a person who is whirling around perceives the ground to be turning. I don't know, I mean, I can remember this from when I was a kid, but, you know, especially my dad would hold me and swing me around or if I just myself put my hands out and just spin around in a circle. As you get going, it's like when you're looking at the ground, your perception is that it is the ground that is moving around. So just as a person who is whirling around perceives the ground to be turning, one who is affected by false ego thinks himself the actual doer when actually only his mind is acting. And when by mature understanding one can realize his individuality, then the situation he accepts under the false ego becomes manifest to him. Um, big subject. I'll, I'll, and I'll just talk about things which I, I think really summarizes um, or puts things in a context that you can understand. I can remember an example given by one of my spiritual teachers. And he was talking about the difficulty of the role of being guru or teacher. And we're talking about gurus or teachers here in, in a really deep, an authentic spiritual sense, not this flaky idea, oh, I get a guru, you know, and whatever. We're talking about the idea of actually finding someone that is a fully self-realized and God-realized personality. Mm -hmm. And you approach them and bow at their feet and offer your life and ask for them to direct you in your life so that you can come to that position of full self and God realization. Very serious business, not, you know, some emotional or sentimental thing. So one of the jobs of the, of the spiritual master is to correct and to even discipline his disciples or students. That is like, 
That's heavy business. But what becomes incredibly difficult is due to the false ego, a student or disciple doesn't like being corrected, doesn't like being told they were wrong in something, doesn't like to hear the necessary information to become free from the influence of the false ego. And he said it's kind of like you've got a giant sea turtle that comes up out of the ocean. And, and, you know, these sea turtles are just monstrous. And it's so old that it's got this massive growth of barnacles on its shell. So it has this huge, huge lump of all these barnacles growing on its shell. And you feel compassion for this turtle. And so you come down to it, it's on the beach, and you've got a hammer and a chisel, and you're going to start chiseling away at the barnacles to remove them so that the uh, turtle is free from this burden. But what the turtle is thinking, you are attacking me. (laughs) You are hurting me. You are injuring me. And you're not at all. You're just attacking the barnacles. You know, this is all that you're doing. You're not damaging the shell. You're not, you know, striking the turtle. You're striking the the barnacles. But the reaction of the turtle is like, ah, let me out of here. You're attacking me. You're hurting me. This is what is one of the tremendous austerities of a spiritual teacher in their effort and endeavor to help their students become free from the burden, the false concept of the self. If the student is chastised and corrected for something that they said, a type of consciousness they have, the action that was resulted from that consciousness, then the person feels, oh, my guru is attacking me. That false concept of self, when in reality a spiritual teacher may be seeking to free this person from that which is trapping them, that which is actually causing them all of their suffering. So I I thought that would be a good example to use and something to reflect on when I'm thinking about, you know, is this, when I say, I hate you, I don't like this, You know, it's kind of like, okay, who is that I? It's the mind and the emotions, but at the root of it, it is the false ego. It's not the actual Atma. And that is why the great transcendentalists, the great saints, that even in the face of tremendous provocation of physical assault, They never felt, I am being attacked. They understood this person is overwhelmed by a false sense of who they are. They're overwhelmed by the mind and the false ego, which is inspiring them to act in a way that's actually causing them self-harm. And I feel pity for them. I don't take to this position of you're attacking me, you're accusing me, you're abusing me. They don't take that position at all. They see with this incredible clarity. So in the yoga process, the Ashtanga yoga process, most of the jnana yoga, you know, there was this monumental effort to try and 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 become free 
from the influence of the false ego. But even through meditation, by this constant reflection upon my spiritual identity and everything, it does not utterly relieve me from the effects of the false ego. In the practice of bhakti yoga, which is founded upon, I mean, the, there are nine processes in the path of bhakti yoga. The first two are the most important, shravanam, kirtanam, the hearing and the chanting process. These activities are so utterly transformative. It describes how engaging in these activities, it will actually dissolve the subtle body of the living being, meaning the mind, the intelligence or buddhi, and the ahankara, the false ego, will gradually become dissolved and the actual nature of the soul, true self-realization, will will spontaneously begin and gradually begin to manifest. So just closing out with this verse from the Bhagavad Purana, where it says that bhakti, or devotional service, dissolves the subtle body of the living entity without separate effort, just as fire in the stomach digests all that we eat. So that's a, a, you know, if if we actually attempted to undertake these ancient yogic processes and we actually understood what we're up against, how to overcome the influence of the mind, how to overcome material consciousness, how to overcome the false ego, It's just like, oh my God, that's like mission impossible, especially when you start trying to apply the different practices and things that they would do. But for us in this particular time, in this age, there is no need to be overly concerned about that. As it said in that verse, without any separate effort, this subtle body can be dissolved. So, to that end, I would like to, oh, firstly, thank you very much for joining us tonight and um, invite you to join with me in, in a kirtan. I'll sing um, the Gopala Govinda Rama Madana Mohana mantra and may lead into the Maha mantra or the Hare Krishna mantra. Thank you very much.
Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Thank you very, very much. Oh, thank you very much, Sir Acharyadas, for sharing your transcendental knowledge. Jai Jai Gurudev, Jai Jai Nitai Gora, Jai Jai Sankirtan. All right, everyone, thank you very much for joining and staying online. Let's move to our share at Mike Kirtan from Philippines. Let's welcome Admin Laguna back to devotees.
Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Ram, Hare Rama Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare
join sa Zoom, Facebook, and YouTube. Maraming maraming Harry salamat Harry Ball! Harry Ball! Harry Ball! Harry Ball! Sa may lahat ng pinakamaganda at pinakamabuting kalooban. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Harry Ball! Alright! Let's fly to Ukraine! Let's welcome Grisha! Harry Ball! Namaste! 
Haribol, namaste. Haribol! Haribol! I'm sorry. Uh, can I uh, lead without video? Yes. Haribol, Haribol, Haribol. Haribol, thank you very much. Haribol! Yeah. Haribol! Haribol! Nama Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Shri Mate Siddha Swarupananda Paramahamsa Itina Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Shri Mate Siddha Svarupananda Paramahamsa Iti Namine Namao Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Mate Siddha Svarupananda Paramahamsa Iti Namine Namao Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Shri Mate Siddha Svarupananda Paramahamsa Iti Namine Namo Siddha Svarupananda Paramahamsa Namine Gora Karuna Svarupaya Radha Krishna Prestayate Namo Siddha Svarupananda Paramahamsa Namine Gora Karuna Svarupaya Radha Krishna Prestayate Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namao Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Vimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Saraswati Deva Guravani Precharine Nirvise Shashunyavati Pasta cha de shatarine Namaste Saraswati Deva Guravani Precharine Irvise Sasunyavati Pasta cha de shatarine Vajya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gada 
Hare 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 
Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Krishna, 
Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Jaya Jaya Guru Te, Jaya Jaya Shri Krishna, 
Jaya Jaya Kute Jaya Jaya Shri Krishna Jaya Jaya Haribol, thank you very much. Haribol, namaste. Haribol, thank you very much, Grisha, for coming and sharing your sweet and beautiful chanting. Jai Jai Gurudev, Jai Jai Initai Gaur, Jai Jai Sankirtan, Haribol. Haribol, Jai Sankirtan, thank you very much. Haribol. Haribol, thank you very much. Please take care. Haribol, namaste. And now let's fly back to the Philippines. Let's welcome Sir Chatur Bujadas and Indian devotees. Haribol Namaste. Haribol. 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 Thank you. 
सरस्वती देवू गौरवाणी परिचारी ने Amen. Uh-huh. 
for coming and sharing your sweet and beautiful chanting. Jai Jaya Gurudev, Jai Jaya Nitai Gaur, Jai Jai Sankirtan Haribo! Hari Haribo! Jai Jai Sankirtan, thank you so much. Haribo! Haribo! Haribo. Thank you very much. Please take care. Haribo, namaste. Namaste. And now let's fly to Poland. Let's welcome my dear Archana Dasi and Sir Robert. Haribo, namaste. Imumit niyo pagkaan mo. Haribo namaste. Namaste dir mo kong dadasi. Namaste chatur bu dadas and indian devoti. Namaste laguna bakta family. Haribo! Haribo! Thank you so much.
Jaya Jaya Lord Nishim Hade, Jaya Prahat Maharaj, Jaya Harer Nama, Jaya Guru Dev, Krishna Krishna, Hari Bo! Hari Bo! Thank you very much, my dear Archana Dasi and Sir Robert, for coming and sharing your sweet and beautiful chanting. Jaya Jaya Guru Dev, Jaya Jaya Nitai Gaur. Jai Jai Sankirtan Hari Bo! Hari Bo! Thank you so much. Hari Bo! Hari Bo! Thank you very much. Please take care. Hari Bo! Namaste! And now let's fly to Canada. Let's welcome my dear Kati. Hari Bo! Namaste! While waiting for Kati, let's call Chaitanya Dasari. Haribo, 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 Thank you for inviting me. Hare Krishna. Hare Bo. Bo. Today we have harmonium. <laughs> Hare Bo. Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pastaya Bhutale Shimate Seda Swarupananda Parmaham Saiti Namine Rajeshi Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nichinanda Shri Advaita Gadadhara Shri Vasa De Gorba Hare Hare Namo Hare Namo Hare Namo Nasteva, Nasteva, 
for coming and sharing your very very sweet chanting Jai Jai Gurudev Jai Jai Anita Igor Jai Jai Sankirtan Hari Bo Oh Hare Krishna thank you Hari Bo thank you very much please take care Hari Bo Namaste thank you Namaste Hari Bo Hari Bo and now let's fly back to Poland let's welcome Nicholas Linder Hari Bo Namaste Haribo, namaste, mom. Haribo. Haribo.
Haribo! Thank you very much, Nicholas, for coming and sharing your sweet and beautiful chanting. Chaya Chaya Gurudev. Chaya Chaya Nitai Kora. Chaya Chaya Sankirtan Haribo! Haribo! Thank you very much. Please take care. Haribo! Namaste. And now let's fly back to the Philippines. Let's welcome my dear mom, Bajandasi. Haribo! Namaste. Hi, boss. Hi, boss. Well, thank you very much. Namaste. Namaste, hi,
Krishnaya Bhutale Shimati Siddha Swadupananda Paramahamsa Itinamini Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Shimati Siddha Swadupananda Paramahamsa Itinami Data Gadadara Shivasa de Gor Bartharinda Baja Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nichananda Shriya. Oh, uh-huh.
Jananda
very much. Namaste. Haribo! Thank you very much, my dear Mombachan, for coming and sharing your sweet and beautiful chanting. Jaya Jaya Gurudev, Jaya Jaya Nitai Kaur, Jaya Jaya Sankirtan, Haribo! 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 Thank you! Thank you very much and please take care. Haribo! Namaste! And now let's fly to you, okay? Let's welcome Sir Daryl. Haribo, namaste. Haribo. 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 <coughs> How's everybody doing? Hey, Krishna. Haribo. Huh? How's Mam Nari and Dasi? She's oh. well. She's home already. Did she get, yeah, improvement, yeah? Oh, yes. that's great. Haribo, Krishna. <clears throat> Nama O Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Pristaya, Bhutale, Srimate Siddha Swarupananda, Paramahamsa, Itinamine Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Srimate Siddha Swarupananda Paramahamsa Itinamine Namo Siddha Swarupananda Paramahamsa Namine Dora Karuna Swarupaya Radha Krishna Pristayate Namo Siddha Swarupananda Paramahamsa Namine Gora Karuna Swarupaya Radha Krishna Vestayate Namo Bhakti Vedanta Swami Namine <coughs> Gora Karuna Swarupaya Radha Krishna Vestayate Namaste Sarasvati Deva Gora Vani Pracharine Nivisesha Sunyavadi Asicha Vishatarine Namo Mahabhadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namine Gora Tishe Nama Aja Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nichinanda Shri Advaita Gadadaha Shri Vasari Go back to Vrinda Adibo Aja Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nichinanda Shri Advaita Gadada Shri Vasadi Go back to Vinda Baja Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nichinanda Shri Advaita Gadada Shri Vasadi go back to Vrindam. 
Baja Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasari Go back to Vrindam Chaitanya 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 Hari Bo Chaitanya 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 Hari Bo Nichinanda 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 Hari Hari Bo Nichinanda 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 Hari Bo Nichinanda Chaitanya Krishna Balaram Nichinanda Chaitanya Krishna Balaram Nichinanda Chaitanya Krishna Balaram Nichinanda Chaitanya Krishna Balaram Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Bo, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya, Jaya Nichinanda. Jaya Dwaita Chandra Jaya Gora Bhakta Binda Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nichinanda Jaya Dwaita Chandra Jaya Gora Bhakta Binda Haribo, 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 Jaya Radhi, Jaya Krishna, 
Jaya Vrindava Shri Govinda Gopinatha Madana Mohana Jaya Radhi Jaya Krishna Jaya Vrindava Shri Govinda Gopinatha Madana Mohana Shama Kunda Radha Kunda Hiri Govardhan Kalindi Jamuna Jaya Jaya Baba Shama Kunda Radha Kunda Giri Govardhan Hari Bo Kalindi Jamuna Jaya Jaya Baba Shama Kunda Radha Kunda Giri Govardhan here we go, Vedan. Kalindi Jamuna Jaya Jaya Mahavan. Hey, Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatate Gopisha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namo Stute Hey Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagadpate Gopisha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namo Stute Shri Krishna Chaitanya Radha Krishna Nahayanya 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 Hari Nama Hari Nama Hari Nama Eva Kevalo Hello Anastava 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 Gati Ranyata Hari Nama, Hari Nama, Hari Nama, Viva Kevalo. Kalo, Anastava, 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 Gati Ranyata. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Dear Radha, dear Krishna, please engage us in your loving service. Dear Radha, dear Krishna, please engage us in your loving service. Jaya Jaya Guru Dev, Jaya Jaya Goranga. Jaya Jaya Guru Dev, Jaya Jaya Goranga. Jaya Siddha Swarupananda, Aramahamsa Prabhupada. Jaya Siddha Swarupananda Aramahamsa 
Bampa. Jaya Jaya Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada. Jaya Jaya Bhakti Vedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada. Jaya Jaya Lord Nishringadev. Jaya Jaya. Lord Maharaj Jaya Jaya Lord Nishringa Dev Jaya Jaya Lord Maharaj Anpo Hari Bo Thank you very Haribo. much Sir Daryl for coming and sharing your sweet you. and beautiful chanting Jai Jai Gurudev, Jai Jai Nitai Kaur, Jai Jai Sankirtan, Hari Bo! Hari Bo! Krishna, thank you for the invitation as always. Thank you very Namaste, much. Namaste, Hari Bo. Sir. Please take care. Big Hari Bo to, to Mom uh, Nariandasi. Hari Krishna, Hari Bo. Hari Bo! Take care. Thank Hari you Bo. very much. Hari Bo. Please take Namaste. care. Hari Bo. Namaste. You too, Hari Bo. Hari Bo. And now let's fly to Germany. Let's welcome my dear Renate and Sir Marcus. Hari Bo. Namaste. Hari Bo. Your microphone is off. Haribo. Paramahamsa <laughs> Paramahansa iti namine Haribo Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Vastaya Udhane Srimati Sarasvapananda Paramahansa iti namine Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Vastaya Shri Mati Siddha Swapananda Paramahamsa Iti Namine Haribo Namo Siddha Swapananda Paramahamsa Namine Gora Kirona Swapananda Rara Krishna Prasthayate Thank you. 
Thank you. 
Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari
coming and sharing your sweet and beautiful chanting. Jai Jai Gurudev, Jai Jai Anita Igor, Jai Jai Sankirtan Haribo! Haribo! Haribo, thank you very much. Please take care. Haribo, namaste. Namaste. Haribo. 
And now, let's fly to Samara, Russia. Let's welcome my dear Lalita Prashad, Tessie, and friends. Haribol Namaste. Haribol
Beautiful chanting. Jai Jai Gurudev. Jai Jai Anitai Gaur. Jai Jai Sankirtan Haribo. 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 Thank you very much. Please take care. Haribo. Namaste. And now let's fly to California. Let's welcome Sir Sal to studio. Haribo, Sir Sal. Haribo. Haribo. Is my audio, is my audio okay? Yes, Sir Haribo. All right. Thank you. Haribo. Haribo. Haribo, everyone. Nama on this new Padaya, Krishna Pristaya Bhutale, Sri Mate Siddha Swarupananda, Vama Hamsaiti Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale 
श्रीमाते शिव स्वरूप नाम हम सहित नामिने नामो सीधा स्वरूप नाम हम सामिने गोरा कारुण स्वरूप राधा कृष्ण पृष्ठायते नमो सीधा स्वरूप नाम हम सामिने गोरा कारुण स्वरूप राधा कृष्ण पृष्ठायते बाज श्री कृष्ण चैतान्य प्रभु नंद श्री अद्वैता कारधारा श्री बस दे गो भक्त बृंद बाज श्री कृष्ण चैतान्य प्रभु नीच नंद श्री अद्वैता दे गो भक्त बृंद जय राधे जय कृष्ण जय बृंद श्री गोविंद गोपीनाथ मदन मोहन जय राधे जय कृष्ण जय
Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Jaya Radha, Jaya Krishna, Jaya Brindavan, Sri Govinda Gopinata, Madana Moana, Jaya Radha, Jaya Krishna, Jaya Brindavan, Sri Govinda Gopinata, Madana Moana, Jaya Radha, Jaya Krishna, Jaya Brindavan, Sri Govinda Gopinata, Madana Moana, Jaya Radha, Jaya Krishna, Jaya Brindavan, Sri Govinda Gopinata, Madana Moana, Jaya Radha, Jaya Krishna, Jaya. Sri Govinda Gopinata Madana Moana Jaya Radha Jaya Krishna Jaya Brindavan Sri Govinda Gopinata Madana Moana Jaya Radha Jaya Krishna Jaya Brindavan Sri Govinda Gopinata Madana Mohana Gopala Govinda Rama Madana Mohana Gopala Govinda Rama Madana Gopala Govinda Rama Madana Mohana Gopala Govinda Rama Madana Mohana Gopala Govinda Rama Madana Mohana Gopala Govinda Rama Madana Moana Gopala Govinda Rama Madana Moana Gopala Govinda Rama Madana Moana Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Bo. Itai go Hari Bo Hari Bo Itai go Itai go Hari Bo Hari Bo Itai go Itai go Hari Bo Hari Bo Itai go Itai go Hari Bo Nichananda Chaitanya Nichananda 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama. Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Go Bala, go Binda Rama, Madana Mohana. Go Bala, go Binda Rama, Madana.
maraming maraming salamat po sa Rasal for coming and sharing your sweet and beautiful chanting. Jai Jai Gurudev, Jai Jai Anita Igor, Jai Jai Sankirtan Haribo! Haribo! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you very much. Please take care. Haribo! Namaste! Haribo! Haribo! Maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat na nag-join ng Zoom, Facebook at YouTube. Sana po magkita tayong muli. Please take care. Please accept my humble respects to all. Thank you very much for all the guests and devotees who joined the Sankirtan Movement of Lord Chaitanya. See you all soon. Jai Jai Gurudev. Jai Jai Nitai Gaur. Jai Jai Sankirtan Haribo. A person can only be truly happy, truly satisfied, when he is tasting love for God. The easiest way to come to the transcendental platform of love for the Lord is by regularly hearing and chanting His holy names. Gopala Govinda Rama Madana Mohana Pala Govind Rama Madana Mohana Pala Govind Rama Haribo together. Go pala go in the Rama, Madana Mohana. Go pala go in the Rama, Madana Mohana. Go pala go in the Rama, Madana Mohana. Go pala go in the Rama.
Allez, bon 